I don't believe this. I just lost a $50 bet. What's up out there, YouTube? Double D here with Tournage Dubois. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, last week's video, uh, my eccentric goblet that I turned. Ironically, I'm eccentric too, I guess, so it works out well. Um, I'll put a link to that video right up here. Um, I alluded to a special project that we were doing today. Um, I made a bet about the Super Bowl outcome being from Kansas in the United States with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs playing in the Super Bowl against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I made a bet with my good friend Bonnie out of Florida that Kansas City would win. If Kansas City lost, I would make her a project of her choice. If Tampa Bay lost, she had to join the YouTube Cross Channel Challenge for 2021. As we all know now, the Chiefs lost. So, I am making good on my promise. So, uh, first off, before we jump into what the project is specifically, because Bonnie doesn't even know. She ha I had been working with her to come up with an idea what she wanted me to do. She couldn't come up with an idea that she was happy with, so she left it up to me. So, creativity, eccentricity kicks into overdrive. So. I'm uh, going to try something new today, but I want to give a big shout out to Quentin over at Deadwood Cast and Turning. I'm going to put a link to his channel right up here. Uh, Quentin stepped up with the volatility, craziness, awkwardness, horrible weather that we have in Kansas during the winter. It has been impossible for me to do any resin casting. So... Uh, Quentin, I uh, was talking to him about my idea, and he agreed to do some resin casting for me for this project. So, just as a teaser, that's the project. No, it's not a towel. I'm just making Bonnie suffer, because I know she's watching right now. <laughs> At any rate, um, Bonnie is a really good friend of mine, likes to color, paint, do all sorts of fun crafting. Um, in fact, she's in the process of contemplating starting her own YouTube channel. I am trying to suggest subliminally that uh, she start that channel. Um, I have seen some of the artwork and things that she has done with her coloring, with her egg decorating, things like that. She does absolutely amazing work. So I cannot wait for her to be able to share that more with the world. Um, and uh, go from there. So I want to give something back to her that's going to be kind of fun. So with her, with knowing how that she likes to color, paint, things like that, I had Quentin cast a blank resin with colored pencils. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put this up on the lathe and we are going to make a pencil holder for when she's coloring she can put her pencils in the in this piece with the colored pencils around it just to add a little bit of fun and something cool to her projects from Tournage Dubois and Deadwood Casting and Turning. So once again thanks Quentin big shout out for helping me with this by getting me this blank um, I've got something planned that I'm gonna be sending back to you when we get this done and uh, I am pretty sure you're gonna like it, but gotta wait for the weather to warm up a little bit and a few things before I can do it, but I will be getting you something back, brother. So and, uh, at any rate, let's get this party started.
liking the shape we have of this, so we're going to sand. Um, so I think I'm going to bore out the middle first uh, with a Forstner bit. We'll get that done. Then we can sand and finish, flip it around, get the tenon pulled off. Obviously we need to sand, but I am really, really happy with this. I like the thicker walls. It gives it a little bit more sustenance, especially with it just being made out of pencils and some resin. But I am super happy with this. Of course, we still have a ways to go. Got to sand it and finish it, but definitely fun. More goop on the screen. I apologize for any of that. But I'm really, really happy with how this looks. Now I'm not going to say I'm going to do this every day. But it's fun. And it's time to start sanding. Alright, so we've sanded up to 320, we've got our denatured alcohol on it, so now we're going to hit it with some sanding sealer, then we'll sand 400 and maybe even higher than that since I'm not going to do micro mesh with the resin, I still want to get a good look on it, so we'll see where we go. Guess what time it is? Brad's time. Okay, got our abrasive paste on. I'm liking how that looks. Time for some tongue wax. Okay, so we got our tongue wax on. We're going to let it set for a little bit and we will be right back.
welcome back. We got the project done. Let's take a gander. So we have our blank that we got from Quentin over at Deadwood Casting and Turning. Um, we have the colored pencil set in the resin. There's a little bit of clear um, sparkles in the resin. I'll turn this light on. Hopefully we can see a little bit better. But you can see a little bit of the glitter action going on um, in there. We have some good color mixes and things down in there. I will tell you that sanding colored pencils tends to make the colors bleed over into the wood. That being said, it is all good. We are done. I will have some pictures up at the end. On a side note, even though Bonnie won the bet, she has also agreed to go ahead and participate in the YouTube Cross Channel Challenge for 2021. She will be setting up a channel shortly, um, and I think she indicated her first video was going to be that YouTube Cross Channel Challenge 2021. Uh, so definitely check back, keep following that hashtag, and see what amazing things people are coming up with. Um, I will leave pictures at the end, like I said before. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, please leave your comments down below. I appreciate that. We are closing in on that 500 subscriber mark, so please share this with your friends. Share it to social media. Let people know what's going on because here in just a bit, when we hit that 500 subscriber mark, we are going to have a giveaway project. So please share that. Let's keep this channel growing. We have seen some immense growth lately and I greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, until then, we'll catch you next time.